Hi Cancer, this is Castology. I'm here to read your December 2019 tarot. Okay, so I already laid out the cards. My format is that I read the cards like I'm telling you a story. All right, that's just my flow. Um, So as I relay the story to you, I'm going to interpret these cards in different ways. If I have a second interpretation on this on these cards, I will inform you. If I don't, then I'll keep it moving. This is a general reading. It's energy, okay? Also, if I reference the cards as a female or a male, um, I can't really change the fact that tarot's been around for a very long time. And when they created the cards, they created the cards to reflect the medieval set where there is a king and queens. So there's a reference to these masculine and feminine energies throughout the tarot because it's to reflect this. Not necessarily meaning that that is who you are as an individual. Straight off the bat, okay? Cool. So this is for my cancer, my Kinos, like ancient Greece will call you. And like I always like to say, Cancerians. This is your reading. So let's begin. Cancer, your first card off the spread is this. You have the Ace of Cups. And this is a very beautiful card, and I interpret this card in so many ways. Like, oh my God, I'm in love. I'm feeling fulfilled. I'm feeling great. But I also understand my divine connection and my divine love and my divine source, where it comes from. And I'm currently getting my cup fulfilled right now. And I'm feeling pretty good right now in terms of my love and the affection that I'm receiving. You may have four people, maybe six, truly, that are interested in you. You may have one in particular that may have your heart. But keep in mind that you have many others that are interested in you too, Cancer. All right? The reason why I say this because you have this card right here, which signifies the two of pentacles. This could also signify you being able to maintain uh, redundant things in your life in order. And like just keep the ebb flowing with no problem. And juggle all aspects in your life with ease. This will also signify that you're dealing with a Virgo. And she got big boobies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or oh, big whatever. I'm just kidding. Listen. It's December 2019. We got to end this reading this this year good because let me tell you something. This year has been crazy. Listen, Cancer. I have a best friend who's a Cancer. She's a Cancerian, a Carquinos, a Krabby Wabby. You know what I tell her? I told her, listen, she's a Cancer. She's crunchy and hard on the outside, but soft and tender on the inside. And I was like, she could melt cold butter. You know how hard it is to melt cold butter? All right, so not that hard, but it's hard. So this is just letting you know that you could have a Virgo also that's in your life that may be interested in you, male or female. Okay, of course, obviously. But it could also signify that this person is predominantly in your life because they really like you or want to be with you. And it seems like they could also be juggling some sort of financial aspect or feelings in regards to building some sort of community with you. When I mean commu community, I mean, you know, you know, sharing expenses, expenses together, creating a, 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 a life together, you know, being boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, you have to some, sometimes invest in each other, but also signify that there's a need to have some sort of, you know, um, understanding that there's being effort in like this roundabout situation that's going on with your love affair also. I see this as something that's a constant in your life, like a continuous ebb flowing. It is very much um, an earth energy in, in essence that it's something that you're trying to ground, but you don't have anything specifically ground, Cancer. You prefer to just keep things flowing and, you know, prefer to juggle, you know, what you got to juggle. And like I said, this also um, signifies with the Ace of Cups how you're feeling, Cancer. But also could represent you in general. Like this is your vibe. Well, this is a beautiful card, all right? The next cards that I have for you is the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Scorpio, or of course a Cancer. This could also signify you looking into your cup like, wow, look, I got all this love. I'm so blessed and thankful and grateful for all my blessings. You know? It could also signify that you are in deep contemplation as well about your feelings in general. Because right here you begin the reading in this respect of feeling so this divine connection with your emotions and feeling happy.
being able to realize that there's a lot of things in life that you need to juggle. You've been through a lot, but you see the mountains and the, and the ships and everything in the background, kind of weird and chaotic. But they're here, you know, maintaining themselves humble and, you know, like, gosh, what else am I going to do? But managing to go through whatever they go through in their life with ease because they're handling it and juggling it with no problem, okay? So this um, right here signifies that you're recognizing this aspect of what you've been through thus far. So you become a queen. So you're able to take this cup right here that stands on its own and you're holding it in your hands. And it's in your hands, right? Or your heart is in your hands or you have someone's heart in your hands. Always keep that in point also. And I have justice here to be signifying also Libra. Also signify that there's something that you may be thinking about in terms of some sort of legality, some sort of fairness in matters of the heart. And you're putting this into the forefront right now because I guess it's a new year, you know? So you got to think about these choices and these decisions and maintaining the balance and keeping things fair and square because justice is a major arcana. She's a very understanding, compassionate, loyal, respectful, has integrity. So these are things that you may be looking for and also uh, putting into, um, putting on the, like putting on the top of your list, you know, because you know that these are things that you're going to have to pay attention to at this time. Because like I said, you could probably have someone's heart in your hands. You could also be um, understanding certain aspects of yourself and regarding feelings. But in terms of this reading, it will also signify that you have a strong connection and a strong protection from St. Michael. Okay? In regards to who you are as a person also and in the guidance that you're receiving for the new year. St. Michael could also be here to, to signify that balance would be a necessity. You could have got the Tempest card, right? But you did it because it's justifying something. This also justifies certain aspects of your feelings and how you've been feeling regarding the situation that you're um, you know, experiencing in love or recognizing certain aspects of your feelings or in terms of someone's heart that you currently have in your hands. The next card that I have here is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords here signifies some sort of brand new communication that is long overdue. It's something that is very important. It's something that is going to be the focal point and it's something that's going to bring much clarity to a situation. Why? Because the sun is here. Backing up this sort of truth. Looks familiar? Not necessarily. But in terms of these swords and what they represent, it's just a manifestation of the justice card in what she represents truth justice fairness and straight up a conversation needed to be had between yourself or between yourself and another person and it's going to bring much sunlight and clarity into your life happiness joy and this is coming in towards the end of the month into the new year. So this is a very good card. So you may be spending Christmas or New Year's in a very good light and in a very good way. You could also be receiving communication from someone that you may know and haven't spoken to a while. One of those that like you or something like that. And it's going to be like, oh my God, illumination. Like, like you, I called you with my thoughts and you called me. It's going to be something like that. Oh my God, I'm so happy to hear from you. Could be a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra, or you could be dealing with a Leo also. But in terms of like how you feel, and this communication was like, oh my God, I was waiting to hear from you. Oh my God, I didn't know this was true. We need to have a conversation from a long time. And like it feels like that, but it's something of importance. It's not something like, oh, we just had a conversation. It's like a much needed communication that needed to um, happen in regards to these deep feelings and the justice card. It's going to bring much clarity and happiness into your life. So then I have here the wheel of fortune because now the wheel is something is turning and the wheel is turning and it's turning in your favor. And it's turning in your favor in terms of your stability with um, some sort of venture that you want to begin. This could also signify a younger female or younger male or someone who you know in your life who's offering you some sort of new beginning. And it's going to be prosperous. They, they have good intentions with you. Okay, it's warm, grounded, and loving, and they're willing to take little baby steps with you. This person could be an earth sign, such as a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. And this person is um, 
here, because based on this Wheel of Fortune was a major arcana, is bringing you this new beginning and this new opportunity of abundance and of a new prospect and a new outlook, either with an individual or with an actual situation in general in your life. And that's a nice reading. So this concludes your reading for December 2019. Okay. Um... I would do another oracle card, but it's like, like, I don't want to really spoil it for you at this time. I'm just going to leave it like that, because this card was really beautiful. I like the fact that you have these two majors right here. All right? Signifying this new beginning and this new trust and this new situation you're going to be having with this new person. It's going to cause this huge wheel of fortune, like, to happen. And this person's going to be like, I'll give you my heart. I'm willing to be with you. You also have this person right here that's juggling or you willing to juggle an aspect in regarding some situation regarding someone's heart or your feelings or something that you're experiencing at this time. Because since you're going to have a lot of love around you, a lot of feelings, you might have something in the forefront that you may have to, some legalities that you may have to take care of to wrap something up in your life. Like I said, you will. It's going to bring you sunshine and happiness and clarity, new opportunities and a wheel of fortune that's going to appear to change everything in your life. And this change is going to occur. It's going to be like another aspect or another, like a new beginning, another part of your life is going to be starting with this um, Page of Pentacles. This is the beginning of a new foundation, the beginning of a new outlook, the beginning of a new positive, grounded um, situation that involves core values and um, efficiency, whatever this is, moving forward to the 2020. And that's good because you want this. You want pages. And the beginning of any year, you want little, little arcanas because anything at the beginning is going to then manifest and grow. So she's offering you this coin, whether it's her heart, whether it's something, a new opportunity. And like I said, I say she, it could be a he. Um, and the situation is going to be able to uh, provide you whatever you want in terms of this new beginning, in terms of this situation that you have here, in terms of how you feel. Okay. And how you're feeling and how they're making you feel. But you are very highly abundant in love, um, my Krabby Wabbies. You have a lot of people who are interested in you at this time. And you're going to have a very beautiful holiday season. Much joy, happiness, and new beginnings will be coming your way. And I wish you all the best in this new venture with love. Like I said, it looks very strong with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It could be a water sign as yourself, or a Scorpio or a Pisces. It could also be a Gemini a Libra, or an Aquarius, okay? So I wish you the best of luck in this new year, Cancer. May you receive all your blessings in due time with the grace of the divine. Well, maybe in your goodwill without harming others because I don't see that happening here in your cards. Everything looks nice and clear. That's a vibe that I picked up for you. When you maintain yourself elevated and, to the, and um, may the up, utmost and the most high guide you and yours. Peace, love, and happiness always. And I will see you in the new year. January 2020. Peace and blessings.